Shane Lynch is a member of the stupidly successful Boy Zone, one of the biggest boy bands in history. He's got a string of number one hits under his belt, and he's adored by middle-aged housewives the world over. But if you don't happen to be a middle-aged housewife, don't worry. You see, Shane is not exactly your ordinary boy band member. Nowadays, Shane whiles away the hours as a drifter. That's a type of motorsport. It's just beyond the edge. It's, 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 there's no room for error. No, it blows my mind. He seems to have the dream life, but this glamour is a long way from his humble childhood in North Dublin. I never had a dream or want or anything or any expectations of being a star or a famous kind of person. I was a pretty regular kid, pretty regular guy who got a lucky break. But what would have happened if Shane hadn't got that one lucky break? To find out, he's going to return to Dublin to do the jobs he did before he was famous. I'm a little bit apprehensive. I don't know what to expect. He'll see if he can still cut it as a lawnmower. Work as a mechanic in his dad's old garage. And experience the delights of modern day petrol pumping. I don't want to be here at all. I think I've put petrol in a diesel car. Along the way, we'll learn about his bizarre childhood home. She wanted a cave. How he rode a horse to school. Came down here. Fighted up to the bike rack and went into school. And dabbled with the dark side. I got deeply involved in kind of a cult, Ouija board, seances, clairvoyancy. While he tries to discover who he would have been if Boyzone had never existed. It was 1990 and the world was in a terrible funk. Vanilla Ice and Gaza were considered cool. Poor people were losing their cool over the poll tax. And Linda Evangelista was refusing to get out of bed for anything less than a cool 10 grand. Nowadays, Shane Lynch doesn't get out of bed for less than 10 grand either. Trust us, we know. But 20 years ago, all he wanted was enough money to fill his beloved motorbike up with petrol. To raise the cash, he went relentlessly from door to door mowing lawns. Now we're sending him back to his grassroots to tender the gardens of North Dublin one last time as he tries to rediscover the old chain before he was famous when he was just a 14 year old schoolboy with a rusty lawnmower and a slightly dodgy haircut. I have to say, fantastic memories of cutting grass. Traits in an old lawnmower around the estate that I used to live in, knocking on the doors, hoping and pleading they were going to give me a few pounds. I think today's going to be an interesting day. Like, I have no idea whether they're going to tell me to do one or whether they're actually going to let me cut our grass. We've got a bike on standby, but we're not going to let him ride it until he's knocked on some doors, mowed some lawns, and earned the petrol money. Hey, darling, you're right. I'm set that dog on me now. But the whole point of actually going around knocking on doors. It was just to get some money to buy more petrol to run the motorbikes. How are you, darling? No, I'm not looking for a cup of tea at all. I'm just wondering where you want your grass cut. The locals seem friendly enough, but nobody's willing to let him cut their grass. And if he's going to get to ride his bike, he desperately needs a lawn to mow. I just wonder if you need any grass. I see you haven't got any grass in the front there, but how are you looking? Oh, thank God for that. Can I just have a look and I give you a price? Yeah, no, well, I Is that all right? Just the side here, yeah? Ah, yeah. oh, sound, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll do that for... That's four euro. How's that sound? That's fine, yeah? yeah? Okay. Spot on. Yeah, Thanks yeah. very much. Top negotiating, Shane. Four euros. Roughly half the minimum wage. In fairness now, I have to say, I've actually done him a good deal. I said four euro. It'll take me longer than I thought. I should have been a bit more, but I'll do him a favour anyway. Be fourth job for a while, so... I'll use this one as practice.
mowing is going well and the old memories are flooding back. Memories of teenage romance and fridge magnets. Um, I had a girlfriend and what I remember, sitting in her kitchen one day and they had fridge magnets. Of a picture of the lads out to take that. I think my girlfriend said something like, Oh, Robbie, he's gorgeous. I love him, this, that and the other. Now, I didn't like that one bit in fairness. I'm a jealous kind of lad. And I took that to heart. And every unsundry out of my mouth came out about that lad, about Robbie Williams. He's a, he's a, that, he's a, and the other. Um, and pure jealousy, admittedly pure jealousy. And I have to say that, I always remember that moment. And I always remember being in a boy band. 17, 18, 19 years old, boy his own, blowing up the town, whatever, love me for a reason was at the time. And uh, young lads from Dublin shouting across the street, you this, you that, the other. And I remember being able to gather that moment and say, well, you know, I was there myself. I did that myself about some other lads, so I understand their pain. Born to be wise. <laughs> Shane is finding that lawn mowing has changed dramatically in the last 20 years. See, back in my day when I was cutting grass, there's no such thing as uh, swinging chairs and seesaws and what have you. They were all down the park. We didn't have them in the back garden in my day, you see. Trees as well, they're another luxury. Nobody was planting trees back in my day. They didn't have to ground anything. We had a straight cut lawn, it was easy enough to do. Despite the presence of luxury trees, Shane has enjoyed his morning's work. I realised I still like to be passionate about cutting grass. I still want the lines to be straight. I still want it to look real pretty and to have a finished end result, which I can stand back and go, yeah, that's complete. That's the lot. Let's go and get paid. I'm all done, boss. Finished. I am indeed. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Stuff. Happy enough? Great job, yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks, uh, God bless you. Thanks. See you. Have a good man. Take care. See you. Hold on a minute now. Come, come in, I'll show you. Now, this is what we call a good job. I gave the good man a price of four. I was hoping for the euro tip because it was looking nice and getting five. Ten euro, you can't beat that. I don't even have to knock on next door anymore. I can cruise on home and fill up that petrol can and we're all happy. And I think that's what goes about saying, putting a bit of heart and soul into a job. Not only do you get the money you're worth, you get a little bit extra. God bless you, sir. With his hard-earned mowing money in the tank, the teenage Shane had enough to fill his bike with petrol. Sadly, he didn't have a license to ride it on the road. And so now, just like back in 1990, we're making Shane push his bike up the long road to the beach. Just a long mile to go, that's all. Oh. I hate reenactments. Oh, what I was thinking of, 12 miles? I couldn't tell you exactly how many hours behind the lawnmower I would have had to do to uh, get some petrol money, but nonetheless, it was always worth it. All the hard work is done, all I have to do is go and enjoy myself. This is where it pays off. we had was a rucksack on our backs, a pint of milk, a stick of black or white pudding. That was our lunch and our dinner for the day and a few cans of petrol. And um, when we ran out, we ran out. But we loved it. We, we just didn't want to do anything else. This is what we enjoyed doing. Woo! That's a good ten years since I've ridden this beach. That was flipping awesome, man. Proper boys. Now that's that's what ticks all my boxes now. Proper, proper buzz. Nice be the God for grass. And nice be the God for lawnmower. Because if it wasn't for the grass and the lawnmower, I wouldn't be riding these old babies. Well worth oil. What? Coming up in part two. Shane is put to work as a mechanic in his father's garage. And he tells us how he used to ride a horse to school.
but it was short-lived because that was not acceptable by the school at all. And